Good morning, my name's Daniel Burke. I'm 25 and I live in Brisbane. And I just realized that it might not be morning where, where you're watching this, but I'm, I'm recording this in the morning. That's the, that's the beauty of the internet. That's the beauty of a, of a pre-recorded video. But it's a pleasure to be able to talk to you at the Greater Goods Teens Talk. And when Rena reached out to me, I was trying to think back of what it was like being a teenager. I mean, it feels so long ago now being, being 25 and, and having all this knowledge and wisdom. No, I'm kidding, right? It was, wasn't, that, wasn't too long ago. But time, time really does fly. When people say that, that, that I thought they were, they were lying when I was younger. But it's true. Um, so yeah, when I was, I remember my teenage years, a lot of it was, of course, devoted to school and gaming. That was, that was my two things. School, 8 a.m. till 3 p.m. And gaming, 3 p.m. till 11 p.m. So gaming outweighed the school in terms of hours. I'd even wake up sometimes before school at 5 a.m. Had no trouble getting out of bed straight onto it and just just to get two hours of of, uh, of this new new update to the game before before I went to school and I'd think about it all day. Of course none of my friends knew I played it because that would sound a bit nerdy but me and my brother we, we, we loved it we, we really enjoyed it and so of course as you can imagine playing that much video games during during high school my, my grades just went went down right because I would I would do homework literally while playing the game and that's that's never a good time. I can't. I'm not. A, I'm not the best multitasker, right? And so I remember in in one of my because I spent so much time on it in one of my second last years of high school. I was doing this pretty pretty important exam. I think it was maths, maths or something. Yeah, maths. Let's just say maths. And I was studying at my desk and. I started crying because I knew nothing about what was what was on the practice exam that we got given and I was crying to my mum like mum you have to write me a note you have to you have to tell them I can't do the exam because uh, something please mum write me a note <laughs> so that was what 15 or 16 years old crying to my mum because I hadn't studied I uh, spent too much time on video games somehow I ended up passing the exam I, I don't know maybe my teacher was was being nice to me uh, I, I don't think I really should have and then in my final year of high school, same thing happened again. My, my uh, Call of Duty team was number one in Australia. And so a lot of time we, we spent on that to no assignments, no exams. And so what me and my friend did, we hacked into the school's database, stole all the smartest kids' exam, uh, assignments, reworded them for our own. We even sold some to, to other students and then handed them in as our own assignment. And that's how we passed high school. And so... I got into university, um, obviously you couldn't do that there, so uh, I failed my first two years of university, right, because I was just out of high school and a lazy teenager, more video games, and my, then after two years, my science professor sat me, sat me down and said, Daniel, we're going to have to kick you out of university if you don't improve your grades, and I'm like, whoa. Okay, um, and he's like, Daniel, you do realize you, if you're not interested in what you're studying, you can change it to whatever you want to study. And I'm like, no way. So that was a ping, really big light bulb moment. And I changed to something I was interested in, food science and nutrition. And so that's, that, that was a big turning point, right? And then I passed all my exams easily. I got the top marks because I was interested. It's the same thing with what the video games were doing. It was, I, I loved school, I loved learning, but I didn't really understand the why behind it, right? But I, I, I knew I enjoyed video games, so I spent lots of my time on, on what I enjoyed. Same thing happened in university when I switched to studying something I enjoyed. I, it was easy to study, right? Of course it was hard sometimes, but it's, when, it was, when I was enjoying it, it wasn't so much of a chore. So then I used the same principle of studying what I enjoyed to, to create, and that's, that's my timer going, because <laughs> speaking of failures, I've recorded this video three times, but it's been too long, so I'll wrap this up really quick. Um, I created my own online master's degree because I didn't want to really get a job in, in nutrition or food science. I was just studying it because I enjoyed it. And so I, I, I wanted to get into technology and I took those same principles of studying something that I was interested in to study machine learning, data science and artificial intelligence. And after studying that for about a year, I was driving Uber on the weekends to pay for the courses. Someone reached out to me because I was sharing my, my work online through videos and through articles. They said, hey, do you want to come and 
try try out the skills you've been learning at at our company and I said sure thing I'm actually heading there today right because because now I work there I'm a machine learning engineer and so wrap this all up it comes back to if I if I remember back people were telling me video games are a waste of time university study what you enjoy and I was like oh what is this and it's it really came back to I found it easiest to spend time on things that excited me and that's that's why I played so much video games that's why I did so well when I studied nutrition and food science that's probably why I ended up getting a role as a machine learning engineer without going to university for it because I was just so fundamentally interested in it and I mean you you, you can't you can't think of these things when you're in the moment you can only do it looking back but Everything works out better than expected. You can even spend time crying to your mum about pass, not passing exams. You can record three of these videos and, and them not be the best, but I think this one nails it on the point. It's been a pleasure to speak to you all. If you ever want to reach out to me, my email is daniel at mrdberg.com. We can talk about whatever you like. But have a great day.